Apart from the result, those celebrations, how good a day was that? Fantastic. I think they've, they've uh, deserved everything they've got to, today. And I know it was a bit of a damp scrub, but that happens many times. I've seen it before here. You know, three nil now we come to it once. And Derby won here as well. That year. Derby, yeah. yeah. Um, but you've got to remember that the, with, with the release of winning it does affect them at times, you know. And obviously I want them to get a lies in the cup final next week, but I think I've played the right type of team, you know, players who were relishing the challenge and needed the game. And, and the first half, it was a one horse race, and they got to go right in half time. There were four, four uh, shots knocked off the line. So I feel for Neil Warnock at this very moment in time, but he, once he's, he, he sees the stats of our game, I understand we're very unlucky. And you brought the three boys on in with half an hour to go as yeah, well, Yeah, yeah, of course we did. It was the strongest team there, you know, in the West, uh, and I thought we had a stonewall penalty come down, and, and that kind of affects Sheffield just as much as it affects our preferred result today. And um, that, that's disappointing, but uh, it was a one horse race, really. And in the second half, they they were encouraged by the goal they got right in half time, and they counter attacked very well to give us a few uh, sticky moments. But in the main, I think we've done our best, and I don't think anyone could. So coming down this tunnel then, to get your ninth Premiership title after four years of waiting, how did that feel? It was fantastic. It's, it is a special, it's a special team and it's a special club. And uh, uh, that support is there, but it was fantastic about it. And uh, I'm, just, I'm so proud of them. We had many conversations in South Africa way back in pre-season, and I got the impression this was the one you wanted the most, the Premiership Championship. Absolutely. I think the reason for that is it's changed a little bit. The, the, the rivalry in the Premier League is... It's, in, it's intense, and of course with Chelsea spending all that money and and um, you know winning the last two years in a canter really, we had to do some as a club. Manchester United have to represent what challenge means, and I think we've done the right way. And once you got in front, just like Chelsea and Arsenal before you, you stayed there. Absolutely, this good start helped us, but they showed their, their courage and their resilience when we're down to when we 14 players. I think the performance is like uh, the Man City game, they were really running empty, but their courage got them through, the determination to win the title got them through, the comeback at Everton, you know, there's many examples of that now last month, and credit to these players, they were fabulous. What does it do for the players in there, I've just had a word with Wayne Rooney, he could hardly speak, he couldn't take it in, now he's got one, what does that do for their experience well, and knowledge? My, my experience of 93 was, it opened the doors for us, we won the title, next year we won a double, we absolutely slaughtered the league the next year. I'm not saying that will happen, but there's no question that players, given this taste of what's happened today, they'll, they'll come on for that. There's no question about that. And that they've gone the team. course and they know what it's all about. They know what it's all about, but they've shown they've got the nerve. That's the great thing about them, they've shown they've got the nerve. So, let's go on with it. I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to the Shelton team develop and mature and go and win a European trophy along with the Premier League. And the fantastic thing is now, in six days' time, you can go for a double. Absolutely. Uh, no injuries. It's a blessing. We're going to the game next week with the squad I want. I wanted. I've obviously got to pick a team. It's difficult. There's uh, one or two positions I've got to think about. But I have to say, we're going to be bouncing in there. Conference winning a week helps you. So everybody's available that you'd want. There's no one not available for you next Saturday. No, they don't. Really, obviously, Gary Neville's very doubtful, and Louis Sahar's very doubtful. But they, hopefully, we'll protect with Gary Neville. We'll be training on Monday. And we'll give him every chance because he deserves the chance. And just finally, word for your good friend Alan Kirbishley. Seven wins out of ten to keep West Ham up. That's championship form, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, that, I think they, they were the team that were going into this game in the best form. They could have come at Old Trafford on a better day. We've won the week. You know, there's, uh, the edge is off our game in a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, so for 20, I think it's 25 strikes a goal today. You know, so we did our best. And credit to them, they were very resilient in the second half. They carried a little bit of luck. The penalty kick was a big break for them. Their boy Green, the goalkeeper, did a fantastic save near the end. So good luck to them. I mean, the, the, all the things about whether it should be in a league after what's happened, it's not for me to discuss that. But, you know, I feel for Sheffield United. Thanks for your help. Enjoy the night. Right on.